Hi everyone, I'm Eileen. If you're new here, this channel is all about slow living, minimalism, and responsible shopping tips. Now, I wish I had always been so intentional, but the truth is, I was quite a shopaholic. I was the girl who would spend thousands of pounds on a Chanel handbag just because I had a bad day at work. Luckily, I found minimalism about two and a half years ago, and my life has changed so much for the better. At this point, minimalism is kind of part of every day of my life and I really enjoy being selective and intentional. Sometimes I get questions like, how do I stay so consistent with low buy and being so mindful with every single purchase? For me, the answer is to simply enjoy my own wardrobe more. Honestly, my wardrobe is so much smaller compared to what I had four years ago, but I appreciate every single item so much more. So today, I want to talk about how you can enjoy your own wardrobe more and not get bored with it. First of all, if you want to enjoy your small wardrobe more, you definitely want to find your own personal style. The aim is to have a small collection of everything you love and not a big wardrobe of things you don't reach for. It took me years to figure out my favorite ways of dressing, but once I was able to define my own classic style, I shop a lot more intentionally and I know everything I bring home is something I will love for a long time. If you're still trying to figure out your own personal style, I think it's great to look for inspirations on Pinterest and Instagram, but just know that we are all different unique individuals and we all live different lifestyles and so naturally we all have different preferences. Essentially, you don't want to follow any advice from anyone blindly, even if they appear to be the experts in the fashion industry. You might have watched videos about the best investment handbags or why you should invest in a Chanel jacket. Those suggestions are all well and good, but you need to always put yourself and your lifestyle in the picture. The goal is to only purchase what makes you feel the most natural in. For example, you want an outfit that makes you feel like yourself, but better, and that you're not pretending to be someone else. For me, when I'm reaching for something over and over again, it's really hard to get bored with something that's serving me so well. Another thing you can do if you want to enjoy your small wardrobe more and not get bored with it is to pay less attention to the latest fashion trends. To be honest, when I found my personal style, trends kind of became irrelevant and less tempting. I still check out the latest pieces and new designs, but never with the intention to buy anything just to keep up with anyone. It's more about keeping my options open and seeing if anything goes well with my wardrobe. I think when people feel the need to be trendy and they feel the need to have to own every it luxury handbag and designer shoes, that's when they find themselves in the fast fashion rat race. The next thing you can do if you want to enjoy your small closet more is simply to be okay with repeating your outfits. It really is more than okay wearing the same outfit twice for parties or any special occasions. In fact, wear them with pride. And if anyone in the office or on the internet makes a comment about your outfit being boring, just remember as long as you enjoy what you wear, that's what matters. We really shouldn't be pressured into buying anything just to please those people who don't really know about us and they care more about what we put on ourselves. I was watching a video the other day on the Financial Diet channel. I love Chelsea by the way, she is always so well spoken and bubbly. Anyway, the video talked about how some influencers got themselves into some serious debt because of the pressure of never repeating an outfit for their Instagram posts. Sometimes I can't help but wonder, what's happened to us? Why are we encouraging and even normalizing excessive consumption? Interestingly though, some of the most successful people have the habit of wearing the same pieces over and over again, such as Mark Zuckerberg and Steve Jobs. Now, I don't think we need to go to that kind of extreme, especially if you enjoy fashion. But the key is to encourage slow buying and slow fashion. For me, honestly, buying something and then wearing it over and over again should be celebrated and not shamed. 
Moving on, if you really want to love your small collection more and not get bored with it, try to do a low buy or a no buy challenge. The idea is to distance yourself from shopping and the latest shiny pieces and just allow yourself the time to slow down. More importantly, you will also have the time to enjoy what you already have. When I look at how I used to shop, I was basically in this perpetual shopping rat race. Most of the time, I was completely on autopilot. It was very much a case of I like it, I buy it and repeat. So I never really allowed myself the time to fully enjoy anything I purchased because I was just too busy trying to look for the next thing to buy. After embracing minimalism, low buy is now a daily routine for me and it has been that way for over two years now. Along the way, I've also been downsizing my collection. And let me tell you, I'm far from being bored. I actually really love my smaller collection. Just by slowing down, I realized I already own my dream pieces and I can save myself the trouble of looking for more to buy. Alongside with the no buy challenge, I will also recommend doing social media detox, even if it's just for a single weekend. Sometimes we just need to focus on ourselves and not use our energy looking at other people and their amazing collections. I'm not sure if you can relate to this, but I used to spend hours scrolling on Instagram and at the end of it, I would feel sluggish. I had FOMO and it just felt like my life and everything in it were not good enough. Thankfully, I've cut down my screen time heavily and I'm also a lot more mindful with how I navigate social media. Honestly, this has been nothing but life changing because so much of my FOMO is gone. I can now enjoy my small closet without people constantly reminding me that I don't have enough. Another way you can enjoy a small closet more and not get bored with it is to shop your own closet. Now I know I've just suggested doing a social media detox, but with a bit of mindfulness, social media can be a place full of inspiring outfit ideas. The goal is not to look for new things to buy, but rather you want to spark your creativity by looking for ideas just so you can put together new looks by using what you already have. For example, I'm wearing a cashmere turtleneck jumper here with a pair of skinny jeans, but you can quite easily create a very similar look without having to shop for the exact pieces I feature. In fact, you most likely already have a pair of skinny jeans, a black tote bag and some ankle boots. So it's just really a case of pairing the right pieces together. The last one is simple but not necessarily easy. But for me, having gratitude makes me appreciate everything I have so much more. I used to think the only way to feel excited about my wardrobe was to keep adding new pieces. At one point, I had close to 20 designer bags. My closet was packed with clothes and I had so many small leather goods which I never ever used. Even then, I just kept wanting more and more. Whereas now, my closet is a lot smaller. My bag collection is half the size of what it used to be, but I just appreciate everything so much more. Minimalism has changed my relationship with material things. I now feel very grateful that I'm able to provide for myself, but I no longer chase after things like a headless chicken. The things that live in my closet are what I've chosen for myself. They might not be brand new, but they are certainly special for me. So those are some of my best tips on how you can enjoy your small collection and not feel bored with it. We now live in a world of consumerism. Everywhere we look, we are bombarded with hauls and unboxing. And that sometimes can make us feel like we are inadequate in some ways and only shopping can fix that. Well, I beg to differ because if we struggle to enjoy what we pay for and bring home in the first place, how is shopping for more ever the answer? I think sometimes we all just need to slow down and adore the Chanel bag in our bag collection rather than those at the Chanel store. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Have a nice day.